the threat of COVID-19 and the Delta variant remains strong and will continue to pose a risk until we receive and achieve higher vaccination rates. Further action is required to protect Ontarians while they enjoy many activities that are now accessible, while continuing to keep our schools and businesses open and our economy running. That's why, as of September 22nd, Ontarians will need to provide proof of being fully vaccinated in order to access a number of businesses and public settings. This process will occur through two steps this fall. Beginning September 22nd, individuals will be required to show their vaccine receipt at the entrance of certain settings along with photo ID. These receipts are currently available as PDFs that can be downloaded or printed. Beginning October 22nd, we will introduce an enhanced vaccine certificate with a unique QR code. This can be kept on your phone to easily and conveniently show that you've been vaccinated when needed. The province will also launch a new app to make it easier for businesses to verify your digital vaccine receipt while protecting your privacy. Our approach will focus on indoor settings with restrictions, including those where there are larger numbers of people and where face coverings can't always be worn. This includes restaurants, bars and nightclubs, gyms, meeting and event spaces and indoor sporting events. But I want to be clear that at no time will people be denied medical care, food from grocery stores or basic medical supplies based on their vaccination status. We will also maintain access to these settings to those who have a medical exemption or children who are not yet eligible to receive the vaccine. Our government will not hesitate to protect Ontarians' health and well-being and this initiative will help manage the fourth wave while also keeping our schools and businesses open. Increasing vaccination rates is the path forward out of this pandemic. So please, if you haven't already done so, get your first and second dose of the vaccine as soon as possible to protect yourself, your loved ones, and our communities. Just wondering what you would say to people who are kind of on the front lines at restaurants, at bars, at nightclubs, at, you know, Jay's games or whatever, concerts, who have to go over these VAX um, printed out or downloaded certificates and have to calculate whether the people are two weeks past their uh, second shot to make sure they qualify to get in. What advice do you have for them? Because, you know, there's probably going to be contentious situations where these people might actually have to act like bouncers. Yeah, no, I, I, I hear you, uh, Rob, and that, that's a great, great question. We're really relying on the people of Ontario. They've done an incredible job. We have to unite. We have to unite as a province, and I, I know this isn't easy. Uh, believe me, I know. I'm, I'm getting calls and messages and talking to people around the, the province. Uh, this is very, very difficult, but we, we have two options here. We either continue to move forward in a, in a responsible and very reasonable way or, and, and be proactive by the way, or if we aren't proactive and we don't take these steps, nothing's worse than shutting down the entire economy and we're gonna do everything we can to make sure that that doesn't happen. Making sure that the kids are back in school, making sure our hospital capacity uh, can handle the new cases. I, I rely uh, on the modeling, I rely on the chief medical officer, and that's the advice I'm getting, and we're gonna be uh, very cautious. We wanna get through this. I do not want this to go a day longer than we have to, but we have to see what happens when everyone gets back to work, when the uh, kids in colleges and universities uh, get back and the students are back in, in school. But uh, folks, I know it's difficult, but we have to unite. Uh, the, the province and we will get through this.